hair is parted weird. That's weird. So it is Wednesday. It is March the 7th and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I have class today. This is my long day. This might be a vlog. It might not be, but I'm gonna have a long day, so you know, I always take my camera with me just in case you know some pop off, you know, getting told us some, some, but I probably won't. I'm not feeling the best today, but I'm gonna vlog anyways, and um, yeah, so you know, it's midterm season, and it also looks horrible outside like it's snowing and raining, and uh, it's just. First of all, it's March. Why is it snowing? But yeah, I think I need to get ready to go to class. It's like 8.15, the shuttle comes in 15 minutes. I need to get my stuff together, so I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be right back. So guys, I've been getting requests on to make a video about what's going on at Howard. So i just show y'all that. But yeah, I'll show you guys that and then I will talk about it more when I get to have a class, but right now, I'm in the class, so. Yeah. So, what's up, you guys? I'm just getting back from class. It is time. It is. It's 3.08. I'm done for the day. About to take a nap, but first, you know, I wanted to address some things because people have been. Uh, well, like, if you. if. If you're interested in Howard at all, or you know you plan on going, you know you might follow some Howard people, so you might see things going on on Twitter and you know hashtags, and you might be like, "What's going on?" So a lot of people have been messaging me asking me to do a video about what's going on because there's some stuff going on, and I was gonna make like a whole sit down video, but I can just do it here. So I mean, first things first, like. We have a building, Douglas Hall, which is where like all of classes are usually during the semester that, you know, was flooded and, you know, moldy and all of this during winter break. So they shut that building down for now and they're renovating it, <sighs> which it probably won't be done till it's time for, you know, the class that's about to be enrolled to graduate. It's going to take a long time. So, you know, that kind of put a damper on everything in school. Like, the yard looks a mess. Because, you know, big trucks are coming in and out. And cranes and all of this. So, the yard just looks like a big, like, field that construction workers go to work for. And so, you know, that's one thing that's kind of messing up the whole Howard flow. And, well, is it messing it up or is it going with it? And the second thing is, like... Um, you know, it's time for us to pick housing for next year, and they're shutting down the quad, which is the freshman dorm, the freshman girls dorm, one of them. So they're shutting that down to renovate it because it's also, you know, beat down, moldy. I'm not sure in the last time it was renovated, but it needs to be renovated. But the quad houses so many girls that since they're shutting it down, they're going to make annex an all girls dorm for freshmen leaving sophomores with CHS and um, some of them are going to be in towers along with the juniors and seniors so it became time to select housing and Howard decided to use this new system to make it less confusing and on paper it looked golden like you could have your roommate description you could pick your roommate you would have certain days where you would pick your you know your class I mean your dorm and all this it was magical lovely but you know then people started picking and turns out there isn't a lot of housing for students next year so both towers are going to be open and they're already occupied um by people who have started registering for housing and so they started putting people on the wait list and I know today they started doing that and they already had 125 people on the wait list including myself so you might see the hashtags homeless at Howard going around you may see people upset because of the housing situation and that's why because 
Howard is supposed to guarantee us housing, especially if you're paying a $200 security deposit, yet we're being told that you might want to look for other options off campus, you know? So of course, we have the right to be frustrated, and today, students went to Res Life office, students went to the Res Life office, and you know, they were trying to get some answers from Res Life, and they called campus police, so campus police showed up, and I have a few videos that I will put, I will insert here. But first, what am I paying for if I'm out? Let's say that all of housing is filled. Why would you guys tell me that I could pick my house? Why would you guys make me pay $200 to tell me I could pick my house in Japan? Yeah. And yeah, when you knew that I would just kind of have to wait till after May 31st, which is after the purge. But that's not, I don't, um, I just saw a tweet um, um, a concerned freshman messaged the president and told him about her situation and he had the nerve to email her back that her tone was inappropriate so yeah that's what's going on at Howard and I don't really have much else to say so all for this video and if you guys enjoy you already know what to do and i'll see you guys in the next video